In many occasions, you might need to rename a subtool. And a simple way to do it is by using toolset path. Toolset path can be used, but it will, it will only rename the first subtool. The way you can use it is by using a comma, then identifying the index of the tool where you're at, or if you leave this blank, it's just going to use the tool that is selected, and then you just give it a new name. If we try this out, I'll just duplicate this tool. So even if I have my other tool selected and I press tool set path, it's only the first tool that gets renamed with the past name. So let's say you had a tool down here, like QCube2 here, and you wanted to rename this, you would have to use these buttons here. Maybe create a routine where you move your subtool up, you use tool set path, and then you move it back down where it was. And we're going to see how we can achieve that in the next video.